Welcome back. We have got a, an exciting guest here with us today. <laughs> Joining me now is Pam Weiss with the Humane Society. Pam, what did you bring with you? Well, this is Daphne. She was encroaching in your shot earlier. She, I don't know if you saw she that. Peeking she in was there? peeking in like, hey, here I am. Don't forget me. She <laughs> is a 10-year-old um, little uh, Lazapu that is available for adoption at the shelter. And um, we've got the Walk for the Animals yes. this weekend that benefits these guys. Absolutely. Oh. So tell us a little bit about this walk. How do we get involved? And, and how does it benefit the animals? Well, it's um, our biggest annual fund fundraiser and it's the way any walk works you kind of uh, get pledges sign up and then um, help us raise money for the animals it's been going on for a, a little while I know that it's kind of tight right now if people want to sign up but people can still come to um, the walk on Sunday or okay. and you can still sign up online you can find information online and sign up um, it's $35 to get the great walk t-shirt that I'm wearing Cute. that Daphne is um, blocking. Uh, blocking of course <laughs> but um, if you want to do that or if you want to come the day of the event then it's $10 for a person and dog and you can come and enjoy all of the festivities. It starts at noon. Mm -hmm. The walk itself starts at 1230. You don't have to walk. You don't have to bring your dog if you don't want to. But if you do, both of those things are available for you. The walk starts at 1230 from our meadow. And then we have things going on in the meadow all afternoon until 4 o'clock. So what are some of those festivities? Oh my gosh, we've got a family zone. So um, dogs can do paw painting. There are <laughs> things for little kids to do. There's a bounce house. There's face painting. There's balloon man. There's some become a junior animal control officer. Um, a lot of different vendors are there with free giveaways. Um, then we've got an adoption dog parade. We've got the Purina Frisbee dogs who will be there doing demonstrations. It's really a fun afternoon to come and you can bring the whole family, including the dog, which is a really fun thing to be able to do. Yeah. Not everything is really geared toward animals. We've got water stations, poop bag stations. Everything is set up <laughs> so you can bring your dog and have a grand time. Perfect. And, and how does this event end up getting giving back to these animals? Well, fundraisers, obviously, the folks who are raising money for us really help us out a lot. And everybody who comes, obviously their gated mission and or if they buy a t-shirt, that type of thing, goes to help these guys. It goes into our fund mainly for medical, second chance medical. So Daphne needed her toenails trimmed. She needed to get vaccinations and that kind of thing. We actually groomed her and all of that will help her then get adopted. And so um, the money goes to help these little guys um, to make sure that we can provide the care for them year round. And at 25,000 plus animals coming in a year. We have a lot of need, so <laughs> yes. it's a great way to help support us. It's it expensive. Okay, so the uh, the walk is this Sunday. This Sunday. Get started at noon. At noon. Okay, and it's at the Humane Society, so you don't have to search hard for it. Absolutely. It'll be easy to find. Any information that you might need is on our website. You can Google Humane Society or it's nehumanesociety.org. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Pam. Thanks, Thank Jordan. you, Daphne. You did a great job.